What is going on with everybody, man? It's your boy, Eric, a.k.a. Young God, coming to you live in the Pink Dungeon. Give it to you real rugged. It is pretty late, but I wanted to give you guys these pics. Um, hey, hopefully I helped some of you guys out last time. I think I did pretty good. For the first opening week, you don't know what to expect. I got a couple of the upsets right. I think I did pretty good. So before we get into these picks of week two NFL, I want to get into the ones that I got wrong last week and the upsets that I got right. So... Let's quickly go over that. Uh, just want to say, hey, not too long horn. I told you guys the Texans will beat the Jaguars, and the Texans are not going to be super duper stinky. They might stink a little bit, but they're not going to be terrible. If they're playing against a bad team or they're playing against a team where they have a favorable matchup, they will win or come close to winning. So don't count them out if you're betting. Uh, just trust me. The Texans will not be as bad as you think they are. So call that one. Uh, and I called, uh, what do you call it? I called the Raiders versus Ravens. I had a feeling that those injuries would kind of get to them. Um, and I, I, like I said, the Raiders, they'll, they'll slip up and beat a team on accident. You feel me? They will do that. Beat a good team at that. Uh, now, the, the games I got wrong. Patriots versus Dolphins. All right. I mean, let's, let's get to it. I mean, literally, we should have won that game. We had two fumbles by the running backs. Uh, uh, freaking Mac Jones. He didn't play bad. Uh, shout out to him. But our running backs, Damian Harris, he played great. But he fumbled at the end, man. And uh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Ramondre Stevenson. He fumbled as well early in the game. And that kind of threw us off. So, yeah, man. Without those fumbles, we win that game. So, I wasn't terribly mad because I was. that showed me, like, okay, I see where we're going as a team. So, got that one wrong. Cardinals versus Titans. I mean, whoo. I could have picked Cardinals. I probably should have. Uh, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. But, hey, it is what it is. Could have never imagined that. Uh, can imagine that John's Bone Jones brother would have five sacks, man. Shots him, ex-Patriot. Fire game from him and just fire game from the Cardinals in, in uh, general. Uh, Bengals versus Vikings. That could have went either way, but the Bengals took that. I don't really got too much to say about that. Uh, what else did I get wrong? Chargers versus Washington. Uh, I feel like Washington momentum was a little messed up after Fitzmagic got hurt. I mean, I feel like uh, their backup Heineke is like not a not a bad backup whatsoever. I think he's one of the best backups in the league. But I just feel like the momentum kind of got messed up. They wouldn't expect to not throw him in there. So yeah, uh, think they would have won if he would have got uh, healthy. To, I mean, if he would have never got hurt and stay healthy the whole game. But it is what it is. And lastly, I got the Eagles versus uh, Falcons. That's another one I got wrong. I got uh, the freaking Saints game wrong. But uh, yeah, the Eagles versus Falcons. That was my fault. Why would I ever bet in the Falcons? Never do that at all. And uh, yeah, I got the Saints in the Packers game wrong. Who would have ever imagined right that's all i gotta say but i did tell you guys if you go back and look at that video that that uh james winston would have a really good game i said watch james winston have a good game they'll lose but he's gonna have a really good game i was half right half wrong i did think that he would have a game and he did so there's that now let's go on to week two man i had the washington redskins uh our washington football team excuse me winning yesterday they won uh then we go to raiders versus steelers now man this is actually a good one this is obviously a grudge match they go at it uh every year I don't know. I really don't know, man. The Steelers won last week, and, you know, the Bills kind of helped them out. Uh, the Raiders, they won last week, also kind of got helped out. By the way, that Monday Night Football game, hey, the 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 regular cast of that game on regular uh, ESPN stinks. The Manning with, with, uh, with, with Eli and Peyton doing it, I'm watching that uh, every time. Every time. I do not want to listen to Lewis Reddick and the guys talk. I'd rather listen to Peyton and, uh, and, and Eli talk. That was a great 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 uh cast right there uh but yeah raiders versus steelers i don't know man i really don't know uh if i had to pick a winner i'll go with the steelers i'll go with the steelers i wouldn't be surprised if the raiders cough up and win it but uh i'm gonna go i might change my opinion i'm gonna I'm come back to that one but for right now i'm gonna say the steelers uh 49ers versus eagles I like the 49ers. I think the Eagles, they get – I feel like Jalen Hurts shows you he's a young quarterback this game. I feel like the 49ers put a little pressure on him with Bosa. They got the boys back, you feel me? They got their linebacker back. They got they got the band back together. So I think that the, the 49ers will take this from the Eagles. Texans versus Browns. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the Texans win this one. Not saying that I don't even think the Browns are that just amazing uh, because they still are the Browns. But – Oh, this is this is another one that you might want to keep your eye on, but I'm going to say that the Browns take this. 
But keep your eye on that one. Uh, Broncos versus Jaguars. I think the Broncos take this 100%. Don't have too much about this. The Jaguars stink, bro. They might be the worst team in the league next to the Jets. They are terrible. Uh, Saints versus Panthers. That's one that you should also keep your eye on. Even though I have the Saints winning, I feel like the Panthers could put some work in and surprise a couple people. So I think the Panthers are another team to look out for. And I don't think they'll be also terrible. I think they probably don't make the playoffs, but I don't think that they'll be a terrible team. So if you, uh, you know, they have a favorable matchup one week, keep your eye on that. But I have the Saints winning. Uh, Rams versus Colts. Man, I love the Colts, bro. I got really like the Colts. I love their defense. Uh, I like their running back core. I told you Jonathan Taylor last year when I was doing these that Jonathan Taylor will be like their running back of the uh, of the future. I think he was really really good in college, and uh, yeah, I, I was very very high on him. And now he starts. But with that said, I like the Rams, bro. I feel like that boy Matthew Stafford. He has something to prove this year, man. He's stunk for. Oh, well, he hasn't stunk, but he's been on an organization that has stunk for. I don't know, my entire life, the Detroit Lions, and he wants to show people, like, all right, this this is what I was doing in Detroit when y'all went paying attention. I was out here going crazy on the 0-16 team. I was still going crazy with Megatron and them boys. So I like the Rams, man. I think the Rams are going to have a pretty good squad this year, bro. And the Colts, I don't know, man. Carson Wentz. I, I still got to – he still got to show me something this year. So, I don't think he had a terrible, terrible game, but he got to show me. You got to show me something, my boy. So, yeah, I got the Rams uh, cooking up uh, this entire year, really. But for this game, I, I got them with the W. Even though the Colts, they got a good defense, bro. They have a really good defense. But Rams, uh, Bills versus Dolphins. <sighs> Uh, divisional matchup, of course. Two divisional matches back to back. I'm going to talk about. Uh, pff, man, this is going to be a good one. Uh, but I'm taking the Bills. I'm taking the Bills. I love to crap on the Bills any chance I get, but I just don't think that Tua can get past his Bills defense. With I think Josh Allen, he he gonna turn up. I feel like he gonna have a turn up game. Like he ain't gonna he ain't gonna play like he did two weeks in a row like he did last week. He gonna have a turn up game. Stephon Diggs really kind of got shut down. I feel like he gonna have a turn up game. Cole Beasley gonna get in there a little bit. Like they them boys finna turn up. I don't know how that game is finna go like points wise, but I think the Bills. I think they they have a little redemption game. Bills. Uh, Patriots versus Jets. Hey, man, Patriots boy, uh, this is going to be a blowout. This should be a massacre. I'm not going to lie. This should not be a close game. I don't care who's at the quarterback helm. This needs to be a blowout. We have a rookie quarterback. We're supposed to have a top five defense in my eyes. That secondary, even without Stephon Gilmore, I, I think it's just lights out. The new additions from Matthew Judon. I mean, we got some boys. We got my boy Calvin Noy back. We got some boys on defense. So if we don't blow this this jets out i mean i i don't know what to say so this better be a blowout uh Bengals versus bears is kind of interesting but boy that bears d line versus that just abysmal Bengals d line i want to go Bengals. like something is telling me go Bengals, but something is telling me go bears just because the Bengals have a pretty good offense you know they got a they got, of course, Joe Burrow. They got Joe Mixon. They got they got some wide receivers. You know what I'm saying? They got the rookie matchup. You know, that's the LSU matchup connection. They got T. Higgins. They got some boys, man. But can he get the ball off? Because bro was running for his life last week, even though he won. I don't know, man. Khalil Mack might get 13 sacks this game, bro. I just, hmm, I don't know how the O-line going to hold up. If the O-line hold up. The Bengals win for sure because I feel like they're just not clicking right now with Andy Dalton. I like Andy Dalton as well, but they're just not clicking. But, man, if that old line can't hold up, it's the Bears. So it's really on the, the Bengals' offensive line. I don't know how to call this one. It's really just depending. Uh, I mean, if I had to pick, I'll go I go Bengals. I go Bengals. Uh, Falcons versus Buccaneers. Never again. Never, man. Never again. The Buccaneers should blow this abysmal team out. Just be a massacre. Uh, Vikings versus Cardinals. That's an interesting matchup right there. But I think the Cardinals, man, I think that this is this is Kyler Murray year. Kyler Murray going to show why he wanted the ones too. So, yeah, I think Cardinals will take this. The Vikings did not look like they were clicking whatsoever last game. So, um, yeah, man, like they, they, they had their little comeback. But, yeah, I don't. I don't know. That was a weird game they played last week. So I'm going with the Cardinals, man. They they're coming off some crazy momentum. 
Uh, Titans versus Seahawks. Another game where you would want that team to have that redemption with the Titans. But I don't know, man. Like, the Seahawks... The boys, they they all they're a consistent team, bro. Like, what more can you say? Like, the Seahawks are a consistent team in the regular season. So, I'm gonna go Seahawks, man. Like, the Titans really kind of they had me worried. I'm not a fan at all, but just watching, it, if I was a Titans fan, I would be super worried. So, not super worried, but I would be a little little on the edge of my seat. Uh, so yeah, with that said, I'm going Seahawks, man. I feel like the boys they're super consistent. Tyler Lock is gonna make an unbelievable catch every season. He does it every season. He did it last week. So yeah, man. I, I think that I think the Seahawks take this, man. Uh, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad if the Titans came out with a whole bunch of vengeance and just like took it out on the Seahawks, but I don't see that happening. So I, I give it to the Seahawks. The hardest game to call, in my opinion, is this next one: Cowboys versus Chargers. Man, I really don't know, bro. Because Dak had all all star game his, his his last week. Really, you know, the, arguably the best game of his career so far. They still lost. The the Chargers are no in type, no way, in no shape of form. The Buccaneers. But, man, it was just like, you know, they didn't get Zeke going. It was just a lot of weird stuff happening. Um, but I like the Cowboys. I think the Cowboys, America's team, uh, it's not America's team anymore. It's not 1992, uh, Jerry. It's, nobody calls that anymore. I don't know why they keep forcing that down your throat. You turn on ESPN, first take anything, they're talking about the Cowboys for five hours. It's like, bro, who cares about the Cowboys anymore? But with that slander, uh, I'm going with the Cowboys. Uh, Chiefs versus Ravens. Man, I think the Ravens, they just, like I said, bro, them injuries hurt them, man. And you got just, you know, Lamar Jackson legit might be the leading rusher for that team the same way Daniel Jones was last year for the Giants. So, yeah, man, I, I just don't know what's going on with the Ravens right now. I got the Chiefs. And in the last game, I think it should be a blowout. Uh, I think you have the Lions versus Packers, and I think you have the Packers, man. So, yeah, Aaron Rodgers ain't finna play that two weeks in a row. At a, a definitely against the, the Lions. Oh, he's finna put numbers on the board. So, that should be an absolute slaughter. Uh, and, yeah, let's see how I do. Hopefully, I do better than last week. And low-key week two, I feel like, is just as complicated as call as week one because even though you've seen the teams play – it's only one game. That could have been a flute. You know what I'm saying? That could have been just a mishap. Like, you never know. It could have just been an injury. Then they got a t they got a player back. So you really don't know the team just from one game. So I feel like we, too, just equally as hard to call because you just judging off that one game, which could easily be a fluke and not their identity. It just be that one game. So, hey, we'll see. Till next time, say what I mean, mean what I say. Haters going to hate. Players going to play, y'all. Holla at your boy now, man.